Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to another video. If you like what you see in this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. But if anything, these last few days, and more specifically, my last therapy session has taught me, is that hard doesn't always mean bad. And I say that because my last therapy session was hard, and the last couple have been hard, if you've been following along on these videos. But that doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. It's hard because I have super weak core muscles, and I need to get them stronger. That's why it's hard. But the more I work at it, the less hard it's going to be. And, you know, I just can't wait for that, because the last two have been really difficult but I think as a kid, um, when I used to be in therapy, I would associate hard as I can't do it, I don't want to do it, because it, no one likes things when they're hard. You know, we want easy, we want the instant gratification, but hard and challenging usually means, um, in terms of therapy, that it's going to pay off eventually. What is now hard and challenging won't be. I'll be thinking, oh, this is easy. And by the time I think that it's easy, I'm going to be a lot stronger than I currently am. And who knows where I'll be. I won't, you know, I don't know. And that's, I think, what is different about this time and now that I'm older to realize that hard means that it's going to pay off in terms of physical therapy. Um, and sometimes in life, too, but you just have to roll with it. And, you know, I went into physical therapy because I was having knee issues, and now my knee isn't really a problem. It still hurts. You know, the pain is, you know, like a two, two or three when it does act up, but it acts up far less. So, you know, I still have to work on it. I'm still doing the exercises they told me to do for that, but now we've really been focusing on my core and um, the curvature of the spine and my balance. And I was looking at the notes after my therapy session on the app that I use, and, you know, my knee isn't listed as the primary treatment anymore. You know, we've moved on from it. Um, still worry about it it's still doing well, and that's, you know, that's what I went in for. What I didn't go in for was this, you know, all these new problems, but I'm glad that we're able to address them. And yes, it's hard. We've transitioned. We're doing a lot more, you know, intense workouts because it needs to be, and I understand that now. Like, this issue is far different than my knee pain, you know. I'm still doing my squats and my leg lifts, and all that helps my knee. But it also helps build my core, and things, certain exercises are getting easier, but we've added a lot more new ones, and we even brought back an old favorite, the Superman. And if you have been a follower of this channel, you know I tried to do a hundred Supermans, and I did succeed, but boy was it a challenge, and, you know, that made an appearance again, and that's just something that kind of brought back a lot of nostalgic memories. If you don't know, the reason I attempted to do a hundred Supermans on this channel was because I used to have to do a hundred Supermans um, every time I would go to a therapy session, because that is what strengthened my back, so I didn't have to do 100, I only had to do 10, but, you know, an oldie but a goodie, and, you know, these last two therapy sessions, and I'm sure the therapy session tomorrow, will kick my butt, you know, there's, there's kind of no way around it, but the exercises that we're doing need to be more intense than what they were for my knee because they're two different issues and they're at two different levels. And if we want to see real change, then I have to push myself harder than I had to push myself in the beginning because now 
you know, it's it's like building blocks. I went in and we worked on the, the foundation and now we're building up and, you know, now I had to work harder. And I think when I was younger, I would want to quit when it got hard because it's hard, it's difficult, you know. And now I understand that that doesn't mean it's bad and it won't stay hard uh, you know because when we're in the thick of things when things are hard you just never know when that's going to stop when's the relief coming and you know right now I'm kind of in the trenches and I'm even having a little bit of fun actually seeing the progress that I am making you know it's really hard <laughs> when you're not seeing results you know, at first, you know, when you first start physical therapy and you're not seeing any results, you're like, is this worth it? Is this doing what it's supposed to do? Because therapy isn't always the answer. You know, it could involve surgical um, intervention. So you hope that physical therapy does what we want it to do and that you respond well to it, but you don't know. So in the beginning... When it's difficult and you're not see, really seeing improvement, like you are improving, but the improvement is small, you know, bending your leg an extra couple of degrees, you don't necessarily recognize that as improvement, but it is. And now I'm actually seeing improvement in my posture, improvement in my balance, where it's noticeable and it's easier for me to stay balanced and catch myself if I'm going to fall. Yeah. That's something that hasn't always been easy. It's not second nature to move my feet when I'm going to fall. Like, I have to think about it. I have to process it and then move my foot. Um, that's something my dad always says is, move your feet, move your feet. And it's not just a smooth movement it's not like a split second thing it's like oh i'm falling i need to move my foot you know it's it's a slower process it doesn't happen instantly like someone who doesn't deal with cerebral palsy and you know i'm realizing that it is starting to become a little bit more second nature like oh i'm falling foot like it's still slower but i'm it's starting to pick up speed a little bit and I'm noticing my balance and my posture, and I am able to sit up straight with my, you know, in the proper position before, you know, everything was kind of cocked like this, and now I can, I can get it there, i working on keeping it there for longer, but like the fact that I've even been able to get it there shows me that I'm improving, and my therapist even told me that, and like, it's really good when they can see all the hard work that I'm putting in. I, I know I'm working hard. And they ask you, you know, are you doing your exercises at home? And, the, you know, the answer has been yes. Um, and it is paying off. I will say the other day was the first day that it got kind of difficult to want to do my exercises at home. I, I went to physical therapy and got a good workout and a few hours later it was like do I want to do my exercises and that was kind of the closest I've ever came but I kind of dug deep and was like you know what you're seeing the momentum let's keep the momentum going and you know I had to dig deep there and that was the toughest part um, but so far I have been doing it every day it was kind of funny though that that was the day that I had the hardest time wanting to do my home exercises because we, they had asked me that question of how are you doing your exercises and I said every day religiously and then after that then I'm like mm, do I want to do them and I did um, and I'm th grateful that I did and I think that just also boils down to motivation I'm motivated to keep seeing results I don't know how I'm well I'm going to do. We don't know how I'm going to respond and we don't know how far I'm going to get, but I want to see how far I can get. I want to push myself. So that's been motivating and it's been fun seeing visible results, not only to myself, but to my physical therapist. Um, 
and you know I, I I just don't know where this is gonna take me but you know so far so good and I don't really know how long much longer I'm going to be in therapy I had to re-up my prescription but I don't know how long the doctor actually prescribed it for so that'll be something I'll need to ask her or I could I guess I could ask my physical therapist too because they're the ones in contact with my doctor um, but you know here it's going to be a brand new week and you know I'm hopeful you know in a, my last PT session they talked about progressing exercises so I have that to look into my future um sitting on exercise balls and you know trying trying even hard trying to make things even harder and more challenging because I'm doing so well and that's what makes me feel good. Like, I'm doing well enough that they feel that I'm ready to progress to, like, the next level, if that makes sense. So, I don't know if I'm ready for it, but I'm going to give it my all. And, you know, if it is too hard, I'm going to have to tell my therapist, ah, that's not it. But that's what it really boils down to with therapy is, you know being communicative and talking and we've all been really good about doing that so far which is why I think I'm doing so well uh, so you know if you are having difficulty enjoying uh, PT and you know you you don't have the best relationship with a specific PT I would talk to your facility about getting um, a different physical therapist because I have been blessed and lucky enough to have physical therapists that are, like, with me 100%. They care about how I'm doing. Like, I feel comfortable with them. And it really does make all the difference. And that's why I think I'm seeing all this progress. Because I really have only been in physical therapy since October. So, all of October, all of November. So, at the end of December, it'll be three months. And I feel like I've done well. Like, I don't really know how to gauge it in terms of, like, I'm here and there and, like, from 1 to 10. But, you know, I feel like I've made really good progress. And I attribute that to, one, going to all my physical therapy appointments and doing all my phys uh, physical therapy exercises at home. And, three, just having the right therapist for me. And so far... That's been a recipe for success, and, you know, I hope to keep succeeding, but we'll see how this week goes, because I could come back and be like, oh my god, I don't know how I did it, which I probably will, but you just, you keep pushing, and it does get easier. Just remember that. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Share it with a friend that you feel could benefit from this message. And I will see you in the next video.